It's a Chatham -a work day. I am out here doing what I can at the moment to make a little bit of extra moolah due to the fact that I am home temporarily due to uh, the trip got delayed for a little bit even though I did start on it. I have to hit the post office which I just did but found out today is a holiday. And uh, You can't ship mail or packages on a holiday I found out. So why not make a little bit of DoorDash money? The bad thing about not having the adapter to use at the moment until it's replaced later this week is I have to rely on Chatamo. And due to the fact there's only so many Chatamos in the area because they pulled them all out, I have to pretty much stick to working gig work in pretty much as one area. Tomorrow, I will be mailing this one off, sending it across the pond to get looked at. This is one of the test units I've been using, and uh, see what malfunctioned in the test unit, because this one gets so much firmware updates, eventually something was gonna, bound to happen. It, it was going to happen. It is, like I say, what it is. And that's okay. It's okay. I did receive a notification that I have a couple of chargers arriving sometime this week, hopefully. One of them I could plug into a CCS, plug into an adapter that's very similar to that one, and then charge at super station, at Tesla stations, the superchargers. And I think that's going to be amazing. I don't know how it's going to work. I see lots of comments on Reddit. People asking me, how's that going to work? Because Tesla has to open it all up to the car manufacturer, whether it's Chevy, Ford, whatever. And Tesla hasn't opened it up to Nissan. So how is this adapter actually going to work on a supercharger? Honestly, tell you, I don't know. I don't know if there's software that is installed or a firmware update that goes into the regular adapter that tricks the Tesla charger to thinking it's charging a Chevy Bolt or something. I don't know. Um, but I'm going to find out starting next week, and it should be exciting. And if it does work, and work incredibly well, these add-ons towards this adapter, it, it's going to be life-changing. Just at the moment, my life's changed because I messed up the adapter and now I have to use Chatamo. Uh, that's okay. It's like never ending. Not the jobs, just staring at the phone waiting for an order. It is insane. You live somewhere for like I don't know, 30 years, 40 years, 50 years, however long you live somewhere. And you really don't see all the places there is to see where you live until you do gig work and are delivering food to people's houses and groceries. You come down streets you've never been on in your life, never even knew existed. I think that's one cool thing about driving for Uber, DoorDash, Spark. I just got notified in an email, so I'm gonna stop working right now. Supposedly, the adapters are gonna be arriving today, or at least one of them, possibly two of them, at my work, so I think I'm gonna get over here to this charger I'm charging at right now, and gig working, not too bad. I broke $100, which is crazy, because I only did DoorDash. But I broke $100 in a few hours. It took a lot longer than I thought it was going to, but it was okay. But I did get the notification, so I am going to go sit and wait for UPS to show up at my work and collect these adapters and uh, make sure they... I, I want to test them around here before I attempt to get back on any road trip. So not only am I going to test the new CCS to Chatamo adapter, but also the Chatamo to the Tesla supercharger network. And that, like I said, this is mind blowing if it works. I have no idea how it's going to work because I know Tesla has to release the cars that can charge at their charger. So I don't know if the adapter has some code in it that 
makes people makes the charger think hey this is a chevy or a ford or whatever i don't know so it's going to be exciting but i'm going to go ahead and get ready to head on over and wait for ups and uh do a quick unboxing and uh yeah hopefully be charging my nissan leaf at a tesla supercharger that is not magic dock but first yeah i'm, I'm definitely gonna need to throw some juice in it is really hard to track on tracking websites that aren't here in the country whoa look at you you found me I've been trying to track it and it says it's here but I, I, I don't know if it's at my job yet we're gonna check the cab won't say anything I am a dope today is Saturday I thought it was Friday I couldn't figure out the doors were locked here in the office couldn't get into the mail and all this other stuff I go what's going on how come the doors locked How come? come to find out it's Saturday and we're closed on Saturday so I got all excited for nothing I could have just continued working for a little bit anyway come Monday come Monday that's a Jimmy Buffett song um, if you want to watch me grab these adapters once they arrive, make sure to tune in. I'm going to go ahead and end this video, keep it short. Nothing much else I could do until they arrive. And that's when the excitement begins. So uh, if you want to see that, make sure to hit subscribe. And I'll see you guys, hopefully with some adapters in about two days. Peace, everybody.